creator of the stars at night comes to us as a 19th century English translation of the 9th century Latin hymn, Conditor Alma Sidero. Interestingly, the English translation was not of the old original hymn, but rather from a quote-unquote new and improved version from the 1640s. You see, the original Conditor was altered in the 17th century by none other than Pope Urban VIII, who, ironically enough, was the same pope that summoned Galileo to Rome in 1633, demanding that Galileo recant his work and his teachings about the stars and the solar system and the universe. When Pope Urban VIII was finished altering the original hymn, only one line was left unchanged, and only 12 words remained from the entire original version, rendering it an almost completely different piece of work. In all three versions, however, in the original ancient hymn, in the version revised by Pope Urban VIII, and in the English translation from the 1800s, Conditor was an Advent hymn. It was a work specifically meant to be sung in the season of preparation leading up to Christmas. In our arrangement of Creator of the Stars at Night, you will pick up a counter melody to the tune Divinum Mysterium, or Of the Father's Love Begotten, which is also a very ancient work, a plain chant from the 10th century, but based on a poem dating back to the 5th century, and also particular to this season of Advent and Christmastide. All these threads come together and call us to wonder and revel at the created majesty of the night sky. This is creator of the stars at night.